3D rhino horn printing startup Pembient has been on an upward trajectory since we first broke the news of their existence. Celebrities started tweeting about it, and the startup quickly became one of the most upvoted news items on Reddit. I sat down with co-founder George Bonacci to find out what's behind the sudden interest. George, I've talked to you guys before about making 3D printing rhino horn, genetically similar rhino horn. Yes. But what are we looking at here? We're looking, yeah, tell me what we're looking at here. So these are some of our newer prototypes. Uh -huh. So we're making them at different densities and different colors so they match the different species of rhinos. Okay. And also rhinos in different environments. And to be clear, none of these actually came from a rhino. No, these are completely lab made. Yeah, but they, if you tested them genetically, they would look exactly like a rhino horn. Absolutely, genetically, spectrographically, all the physical properties. So these are effectively real horns, they're mm -hmm. just not wild horns. Uh, you're also, what, like number, your number one on Reddit. What did you think? do you think contributed to that? I don't know what flipped that switch where we got popular, but I got a text that day saying you're number one on Reddit, and I said, what subreddit? And they said, all of them. So it was kind of crazy. So what's next for you? Um, so we're going to hopefully take this through our, to our partnerships and hopefully launch in September, both through supplement companies, beer companies. Um, so really just bring it to market. I mean, you could really take off in China. Yes, that's our goal. That's our goal. China and Vietnam are definitely our number one and two markets. How long have you been with IndieBio? So IndieBio, it's a 100-day program. Mm -hmm. um, we get the lab space until February, so about a year, um, and we'll be here for that year. Okay, and I'm really curious, what made you decide to go with IndieBio? Because it was a brand new program, uh, it was even less money when you started. Uh, what, what made you want to sign up? Sure, what really appealed to us was the fact that it was really biotech focused. Mm -hmm. uh, most other accelerators are very focused on software. Um, and obviously that doesn't translate very well sometimes to things that you need a laboratory for. So that's what really appealed to us. 